Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have been away for the last couple of months, um, not making videos. It's been a crazy kind of winter into spring, but I am back and I am excited to do another video. Today's video is going to focus on healthy deodorants and the ones that I have found to be the most effective. So if you are in the market for a new deodorant, please stick around. Natural deodorants have been on the rise in the last few years, probably several years. When I was first transitioning my lifestyle into more chemical free, um, looking at what I ate and things like that, the first thing that I actually did was change out my deodorant. If you don't know, most deodorants or antiperspirants are filled with uh, aluminum, which is a heavy metal, and when you're putting that into your skin, the heavy metal with aluminum in this instance is being absorbed into your body. It's not healthy. Um, our bodies can often have trouble getting rid of heavy metals and we definitely don't want to have a buildup of that. I hear all the time people not wanting to transition to a aluminum free deodorant because they find that they sweat a lot. Um, with antiperspirants they are blocking your pores, essentially stopping you from sweating. So there's a plus side to that, but it's also not good for your health. We are designed, our bodies are designed to detoxify and one way that it does that is through sweating. Um, if we're blocking these pores, we are essentially um, not allowing our body to detoxify from toxins and so they are just going to recirculate through our body. Your body is designed to detox, so if you're not allowing yourself to sweat, oftentimes what can happen is your body is trying to push out those toxins um, and it will come through your skin. So you might um, get bumps on your skin or particularly on your face, you might get breakouts or um, acne. Um, and that's just the way your body is trying to tell you that is getting trying to get rid of uh, the toxic buildup. So it's either gonna come out of your sweat or it's gonna come out through your skin. That's another reason it's really important to allow your body to sweat. When you first start to use a natural deodorant, one that is essentially free of any sort of chemicals as well as aluminum, um, you are gonna find that you are going through something called a detox phase. This can last between one to two weeks. You're gonna have more sweat. Um, you are gonna probably smell worse. This is all because your sweat glands are trying to find their balance. Um, if you have traditionally used a antiperspirant for many, many years, your body has become accustomed to that and your sweat glands have become quest, uh, accustomed to that. So you're gonna go through this phase of not it not being very nice. Of course, nobody wants to smell and nobody wants the uncomfortable phase, but one, if you push through that and you continue to use natural deodorant, your body will regulate and it will rebalance and you'll find that you won't be sweating as much and your body odor will not um, be quite so stinky. If after two weeks you're still experiencing a bad odor or a tons and tons of sweat, particularly with the odor part of this, if it's still not smelling very nice, um, you may want to look at your diet as well. Oftentimes if you're eating processed foods, that is going to also be coming out of your glands, your sweat glands, and will make your sweat smell much worse than if you were on a clean, um, healthy diet. I've been using natural deodorant for about 12 years. In this time frame, I have switched countless times. Um, there is a lot on the market that aren't very effective and do not work for me. So it's just been kind of a learning process and oftentimes I would pick up a deodorant and then read you know, down the road that it wasn't as healthy as I thought it was, um, so then I would make a switch again. But I wanted to share three different ones that I have used and two that I really like and one that I have recently transitioned from. The first one I want to share with you is the one that I have recently switched from. This one is the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant. Um, this is in the uh, fragrance Vanilla Lavender, and I probably have been using this one for, I want to say, maybe close to two years, two, three years. Um, they brand this one as the Healthy de Deodorant, and it does not have any aluminum in it, which is great, but it does have things like carrageenan. It's also got a fragrance blend, which is 
something you do want to avoid because oftentimes uh, the fragrance is made up of complete chemicals. Because of all that, this is why I decided to switch. But I will say that if you are coming from an antiperspirant, I do find this one to be a nice transition deodorant because it acts like a traditional deodorant. It does allow you to sweat. It's not going. It's not an antiperspirant, so you are going to sweat on this one. Um, but the feel of it is very, very similar to a traditional deodorant. It's just quite powdery. The scent is kind of like a normal deodorant. Um, it goes on like a normal deodorant. It's quite. Um, it's smooth, and I find that this one worked really well. It works great. Um, but I wanted to find something different that was even better for me and for my health. Um, but I would recommend this one if you want to go slowly into this transition um, and maybe have less of uh, detox phase. I get this on um, Amazon and it's going to run you about $13. There's many different fragrances. They're all really good. I think I've probably tried all, every single one of them. Um, so this is a good option if you are coming from a antiperspirant. Okay, the next one um, that I really like and um, I find really works is the Meow Meow Tweet deodorant stick and this is in the um, fragrance Lavender Bergamot. This is full of completely natural, completely clean ingredients. There is nothing bad whatsoever in here. Um, it's fragranced with essential oils. So you have bergamot, you have lemongrass, you have a bit of peppermint oil, um, and the scent is really, really nice. The other ingredients are great. So sunflower seed oil, arrowroot powder, baking soda, um, shea butter, sunflower seed wax, um, and a few other things. I find that the scent of this one stays with you all day, which is great. It does cover up or eliminate any sort of body odor, and you're replaced with is lavender bergamot smell which is great this one goes on slightly different than a normal deodorant um, it is in a stick which is what I prefer I know that they make ones that are in a glass jar um, I think with those you need to use your fingers but I prefer the stick I find the jars when you have to scoop it out it gets kind of messy on your fingers and it's just um, a bit of a hassle so I always pick up a stick when you put this one on I did find that at first at first, when you first apply it, it's a little bit um, tacky. So if you like lift your arms, it kind of, um, there's kind of like a tackiness to it, which does go away. And I have not found that it transfers onto my clothes or anything, which is also kind of an issue with natural deodorants. Um, I have not found that there's any staining, which is also really great. This one is a little bit different. It comes in a cardboard box, which is really cool. Um, Mia Mia Tweet is very, very conscious about the environment. All of their um, packaging is in cardboard or glass jars, and they encourage recycling and all that. So if that is something that's really important to you, this company really stands behind that, um, and they're really trying to reduce their waste. This one looks a little bit different. Um, when you rub your finger on it, it's a little bit, um, more, I want to say oily, I know that's not the correct word, oh waxy, I will say waxy. Um, it's slightly more waxy than versus the La Vanilla which is more powdery, um, but it, it works really really well. I don't find that I have any um, body odor. You do obviously um, sweat on this one because of course it's not an antiperspirant. I have been super impressed with this. I will definitely uh, reorder another one of these. I think even now you can find these at Target, so they're very, very accessible. I bought this one on Amazon, and I think it's going to run you close to $20. Uh, this is three ounces. It will last you a while. $20 for a deodorant. Some people will not be too thrilled to pay such a thing, but I think it is worth it because it does work and it does last a long time. Meow Meow Tweet does make a baking soda free deodorant, which is great because there's a lot of people that get irritated with baking soda. This one is not baking soda free. Um, I don't have an issue with it. But if that is you, do know that they have a baking soda free stick as well as one in the jar, which is great because it is hard to find one that is free of baking soda um, that actually comes in a stick as well. The final one I want to share with you is 
from Primarily Pure, and this is their deodorant stick. It's in their fragrance, Lavender, and this one is probably my absolute fave. It's filled with completely natural ingredients like the Miao Miao Tweet. It has arrowroot powder, coconut oil, taro from grass-fed cows, beeswax, baking soda, non-nano zinc oxide. It is fragranced with just lavender essential oil. This one I found to be the most effective in terms of body odor and um, longevity. I only apply this one in the morning and I find that I can still smell it the next morning. It lasts an extremely long time. The only thing that I have noticed that is um, not really an issue, but the scent, the lavender scent, dissipates or kind of goes away um, quite quickly, and then you're left with the smell of coconut oil, which I don't mind. It's not a bad smell. It smells kind of sweet, so I don't mind that. It's just I think I maybe was expecting the lavender to carry out through throughout the day, um, and I did not find that was the case for me. But that being said, I think this one is extremely good. It's extremely well made. I love the packaging. Um, it is in a plastic container. It just screws on um, and then it has like a little dial to distribute the product up. Um, I find this one to be, um, it is um, a little bit waxy but less waxy than the Meow Meow Tweet. It's more smooth and it has slight grit. I think that's probably a bit of the baking soda in there. But it just goes on really nicely. It's very smooth. I also found that this one does not transfer to your clothes and it does not leave any stains um, on your clothes either which is great. Of course as always you are going to sweat on this one. It does not prevent you from sweating but the odor control is amazing and it works really really well. This one is going to run you about $20 as well for two and a half ounces so slightly smaller than the Meow Meow Tweet. This company is based in California and they're a small company and everything is made kind of in-house which is really cool. I purchased this directly from their site. I have not seen it on Amazon yet but I would assume they probably would start doing that um, eventually but I find that this one is really really good and really effective and this would probably be my go-to it's just a very very good deodorant completely clean and actually works thanks so much for joining me today I hope you found this informative and that you finally decide to switch your antiperspirants for a more clean natural option as always please like and subscribe this video please comment below on any deodorants that you have found natural deodorants that you have found that um, you love it's always helpful to let other people know that there is different options um, than putting toxic chemicals and heavy metals into our bodies I will be back with another video soon and thanks so much for watching bye bye